Good morning, everyone, and a happy Rosh Chodesh, and a good Arab Shabbos. It's a busy day today. Today's Rosh Chodesh Adar. It's actually the last day of Shavak, because it's a two-day Rosh Chodesh. Tomorrow is day one of Adar, but it's called Rosh Chodesh Adar. The Talmud tells us something very interesting. It says, Nichnas Adar, Rabbi Misimcha. When the month of Adar comes, one has to increase in happiness. Now the commentaries ask, what's unique about Adar? Why Adar does it say you supposed to increase in happiness? One should always be happy. We've spoken about this before. If there is a Shabbat Simcha, one has to serve God with happiness. It says, Talmud Tiyah one should always be happy. So the commentary is answer. It says, Marba, one should increase happiness. Of course you always have to be happy. One have to increase your happiness. What's special about Adar? The one should increase their happiness. The commentaries tell us something very powerful. The month of Adar, which Purim happens, which is in two weeks from today, Purim represents the concept of when we recognize and realize that the external is just external. There's nothing concrete. But what really counts is what's inside. But we'll talk more about this as we get closer to Purim. And therefore, the commentaries say that how do we truly find happiness? How are we able to increase our happiness? When we build ourselves up and we come to the recognition of the miracle of Purim, and we realize that everything that's external is not really going to make it. It's going to be here and gone the next day. But internally, if we're able to find our inside, our spirituality, connect with ourselves inside, then we will be truly happy. And that's something that we all have to work on and start building ourselves up. That's the Avoda, the work of the month of Adar. Build ourselves up to the month, to the Purim story, to the holiday of Purim to recognize that we could transcend. Don't worry about the external of where what you have, the possessions, what you what's going on outside, corona, lack of ability to communicate with people. It's hard. But if you build yourself internally, if you realize that that's all just a mirage, one big mirage, and you realize that what really counts is your neshama, your soul. What really counts is the meaning behind things. Then you'll be the happiest person in the world and it's contagious, you'll make other people happy. So let's focus on this important idea. Let's walk into Adar and into Shabbos being happy. Wishing everybody a good day, a happy Rosh Chodesh, and a wonderful Shabbos.